everybody, we're here for another Telford Rocks interview and we're down at Scudge Productions on Hawkenwood as usual and today we've got the sibling rivalry so we'll crack on with the interview and find out what they've got to say. So, morning guys, morning. Are you all well? Ah, yeah. oh, not too bad. <laughs> you start off then by telling us who you are, your names and what you play. It's, um, I'm Ash, I do um, guitar vocal. I'm Rich, do uh, guitar vocals as well. I'm Rob on drums. And you've got a member missing today. Oh uh, yeah, a uh, bass player. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? No, Colin. Um, cool. Um, you've been together for long? Um, about two years, isn't it? No, it's just over a year. Yeah. Not that long. No, we've been just over a year. Well, yeah, we got together like December, but I mean, I, speaking in terms of gigging wise, yeah. like, we've only been gigging for about a year, so I was kind of that sort of. That's how I was spent a while putting it together yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we just wanted to make sure we had a good sound and sort of good solid, sort of like very tight for the. Like went out and gigged. We didn't want to be sort of a messy band. We thought we wanted to make it a good first impression. So I think we had a good sort of six cool. months. Yeah, we had six months sort of grasp. Looking down, yeah. yeah. And then just threw yourself out there, then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think mean, you did, didn't you? I think you sort of burst out more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Have you have you been playing quite a lot? Um, we were, we, we, yeah, we, 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 I think we started off with gigging sort of like once, twice a week, sort of once, one stage, don't we? Then like we decided we needed. Like, oh, this is worth our material. Um, Just so we, these this last couple of months, I mean, we've been hammering, like, getting a new EP out, so uh, yeah. Death and Taxes. <laughs> Death and Taxes EP, that's what it's Sounds interesting. Mm, sounds so interesting. Have you got that finished? Um, it's actually, it's all finished now, we're just mixing it now, so um, we're looking at a release probably first two weeks of September. Is that how many tracks you got on that? Uh, six tracks. That's a good, solid EP. Yeah, it's, it's, um, the material's quite strong as well, we're quite happy with it, really happy with how it sounds. And... Plans to turn it into an album in the future? Possibly, I mean, because we're not going to just stop recording at the EP, we've actually got a few more tracks in the pipeline as well, so I don't see why not, to be honest with you. Look forward to hearing that. <laughs> Have you got many gigs coming up in the near future? We've got the Bridge North Music Festival it starts on the 22nd. And we're kind of being loud, I think. Yeah. Um, and then the Falcon at the end, but we are trying to get gigs in between as well if, we, if there's any venues that, um, you know, because uh, we are starting and then finishing as well, so um, anything in between would be happy with that. Too. So, predominantly an original band now. Yeah. Um, how would you describe the music? Can you describe it? Yeah, yeah, I suppose, yeah. We've got, I think that's a weird thing about us. Nobody can really label us as one sort of type of music. We, we're prominently sort of indie, indie rock music. Mm -hmm. We've got all different influences. And it's like all sort of mashes together. And like nobody can really point out who mm -hmm. our main influence is. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the thing because our influences are so diverse. I mean, it, it's quite interesting going to gigs because you'll have one person come up to you and say, you sound like Arctic Monkeys. And then you'll go to another gig, and the same person, like another person, will come to you about the same song and say, That sounds like um, news. Mm -hmm. yeah, or I, I even had Queens of the Stone Age the other day, and I was like, yeah. Well, you know, I was quite flat because, you know, I love Queens of the Stone Age and stuff. But I mean, them three very different bands about it all over the one, same song, that is. And yeah. I mean, to have that, it's, it's quite exciting because we're not frightened to branch out and grab all these different influences and clutch at straws and try new things. and so uh, yeah, our sound's pretty diverse to be honest. Mm -hmm. Who who are individually sort of the, the main musicians and bands that have, have influenced you in the past and your favourite bands? Um, well, talking about me, Rob, and Colin, we're more sort of the serious side. That sort of Muse, Placebo, uh, Radiohead, mm -hmm. the more serious bands yeah. and stuff like that. Um, while Ash is quite influenced by that as well, he also has a big influence from Libertines, Fratellis. Baby Shambles, stuff that's not so, it's quite jovial, quite. Yeah. So, um, and when we meld them sounds together, we get kind of a unique and interesting sound, so. Yeah. Sometimes better to not have everybody in the band coming from the same angle. Yeah. Yeah. You almost yeah, I think it just makes it a bit more interesting. So, I mean, if you've all got the similar influences, your music tends to copy. Like, you know, it's always, you know, it's like, it sounds like the same sound. At least if you've got a few variations, the songs generally sound different and people I think enjoy it a bit more. Though. 
because we watch the editors, don't we? They sound like two hours of the same song. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, we love the editors. Great to listen to on an album, but just don't go for a lot of it. Yeah. So. It's just, no, it was, it was just an hour of the same song. Really. Yeah. yeah. I, I know what you're saying, there are quite a few bands out there, even some of the bigger bands, mm. unless you're really, really into that. I think, I think people get comfortable. I think they find the sound and they stick to it because they know it's, it's good and they can work it up. Us be like sort of experimenting with different things. Trying to steer yeah. away from doing the same thing. Constantly yeah. striving yeah. to do something a bit different. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Sounds good. Do you in, in any way have a formula for how you write the songs? Um, does one of you in particular write, or do you all get together and write the songs together? I think Rich and Ash tend to. It, I mean, with with our current set, I mean, basically with me, it's um, I get the melody, rhythm, and the, the lyrics written. And then everybody throws in their two bob after that. Yeah. Uh, but Ashley is starting to write a few more songs now, and it's quite interesting as well because it's given us another dynamic. It's because yeah. it's, it, I mean, while his um, influences are different, as I said before, um, it's bringing a different sound, so it's quite interesting. Mm-hmm. And, but then gelling everything together yeah. and having your own. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I know it's like some songs have introduced, like um, they started off completely different to what we usually play, but then it's sort of coming in. We've got like you know, it's weird, it's weird. It seems with people putting their different inputs, the, the song morphs and it feels more like a rounded, like a whole thought. Because it reads just like my ideas and stuff like that, and I thought I had a different idea where I thought the song was going to go. Then say like Richard put a lead part over something, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't see that going, but then yeah, it sounds good. It, Builds up. It's quite interesting to see it. And it's good because we're obviously at that same time we don't go off at a, too much of a tangent and break yeah. away from our, our sound that we're comfortable with. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean we we keep each other in check in that way. But um, I, think I mean, we know what goes, don't we? we know what goes. Yeah. We, we, do, we don't want people getting stuff. confused about over who we, you know what direction we're going in. So we try not to break off at too big a tangent. Yeah. Something, so. yeah. Cool. Songwriting wise. So you're writing all your own stuff, you're going out gigging. Do you play any covers at any point when you, when you play? Uh, occasionally we do, yeah. I think, I think we're, we're looking a bit more now because we're like, obviously trying to expand our fan base and stuff. So I think what we want to try and do is get um, songs that are going to draw people in. Yeah. I think like, if you, even if you just like, open up a set with a song everyone knows, say if it's like a new release in the chart, then you get people interested then and then when you like, introduce your own music people seem to take to it a, a bit more yeah. than mm-hmm. if you just try and bombard with, with like, all your original stuff. Um, yeah. It's always good to have a tune that sort of, they all go mad for yeah. it, when you play to a, a, a pub of, you know, it's, it's quite packed, so you know, you play a tune and everyone knows and it gets them into you a bit more and they come up and start asking questions after. Just a bit. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Are you the sort of band that, that plays off the audience and, and feeds off the energy that an audience will give you. I, mean, I think we have, we have done in the past. Um, it's, it's, it's quite hard when you play and you've got like one man and his dog watching you, you do get a bit <laughs> sort of down hearted and we generally say if, We've that, all around, been there. Yeah, if that happens, go up, just treat it as a practice, you know, then we'll, you know, work on it for the next next gig. But saying that, we do, we do tend to play a lot better when we've got a big crowd yeah. and we know that they're enjoying it. Yeah. Um, we, I, just the energy, just, yeah, I don't know, it just yeah, picks you up does, a lot yeah. more. You know, when you, especially like, if you've got people, because we generally have a following from when we've got people there that don't really know who you are and they're clapping and enjoying and whooping, wailing or whatever, it does, you know, it puts a smile on your face and thinking, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's like, really, yeah, it's uplifting. You do tend to show yeah. off a bit then. <laughs> 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 <laughs>